There's so much more to Marin Morris than her wildly successful career. She's led quite an interesting life, unsurprisingly spending much of it breaking into the music industry. It's evident by her stunning transformation that one thing is clear, she was born to be a star. Like a lot of other famous country music stars, Marin Morris grew up in the American South, specifically Arlington, Texas. Her younger years sound rather idyllic. She was born in Dallas in 1990 to Greg and Kelly Morris, and she has a younger sister named Carson. While growing up, she would hang out at her parents' hair salon, and she frequently made appearances at the parties they threw. She loved to sing along to the radio, and she would sometimes perform some of her personal favorites on the family karaoke machine. I was a shy kid, but I've always felt really comfortable singing. Morris also started making her own music from a young age. When she got her first guitar at the age of 12, it was love at first sight. She'd been singing for fun before then, but mastering the guitar took her to another level, as it allowed her to set the poems that she'd written to music and start writing real songs. It was at this time that something sparked in her that made her want to be a professional musician. As Morris was born in 1990, she grew up in a remarkable decade for fashion. She was a typical 90s girl in many ways, as she was hip to all of the trends that were all the rage during her youth, some of which would surely make her laugh if she were to look back on them now. Morris has posted several photos of herself as a young girl on her Instagram, and it's clear that she totally leaned into all the best 90s trends. For example, in one snap, she's rocking randomly curled hair and eye glitter, and in another, she's super excited after receiving a portable CD player for Christmas. In a couple of other shots, she can be seen wearing zebra pants and what appears to be platform Converse sneakers. The fact that Morris was once an unrepentant 90s kid makes her all the more relatable. Perhaps some of that decade's fashion trends will eventually come back in style again. Nostalgia is pretty infectious, after all. Morris spent a lot of her childhood performing music while out and about, something most kids only ever do at school or church. But for Morris, spending her free time practicing her craft was what she really wanted to do. In a 2016 interview with Rolling Stone, she revealed that while she did participate in a lot of normal activities, she also had a unique side hustle. As she recalled, I did choir, soccer, some theater. The only weird thing about my life was that I was playing honky-tonks on the weekends. Morris started doing this when she was only 11 years old, making her quite the precocious young she wasn't making a ton of money right away, but she was doing what she loved. As she noted on her website, I started playing all around Texas, any bar or club that would let me in there. I was the only kid in school that had a job on the weekends. Marin Morris has always had an innate love of singing and performing music, so when she added to that the ability to play guitar, she truly became a force to be reckoned with. It may have taken a while for her to top the charts, but it didn't take as long for her to start recording music and releasing albums professionally. In 2005, when she was only 15 years old, Morris released her first album, entitled Walk On. It consisted of 10 songs, most of which Morris wrote herself. The cover features a very angsty-looking Morris staring straight into the camera with her guitar. Obviously, Walk On was nowhere near as successful as the albums that Morris would go on to record in the coming years. But it's nevertheless quite impressive that a 15-year-old man to release her own album featuring songs that she wrote herself, thereby exposing herself to the court of public opinion at a particularly vulnerable time. Not too many people can boast of such an achievement at that young an age. Like many other young hopefuls in the music industry, Marin Morris has tried her shot on competition shows like American Idol, which she auditioned for when she was 17. Plenty of people have gotten their start on a reality show, so she clearly wasn't alone in her ambition. But even though she was in good company, she had to deal with some serious rejection before she finally got her big break. In a 2016 interview with Rolling Stone, she recalled that Idol wasn't the only competition show that turned her down. As she put it, I think about all of the freaking talent shows I've tried out for in my life and I I'm so glad I didn't make any of them. It's full circle because I was rejected from The Voice, I was rejected from American Idol, and I'm happier for it now. Plenty of stars have gotten rejected by American Idol, so Morris is smart to keep things in perspective. And those weren't the only times that she had to deal with rejection on a big stage, as she also went through the ringer on America's Got Talent and Star Search. Sorry, you have to take the walk of shame. <laughs> At the age of 20, Morris headed off to Nashville, where she found herself on the verge of fame. At first, she spent her time writing songs for other artists like Tim McGraw, but while doing so, she also realized that some of the songs she was writing were perfect for someone else herself. One of those, My Church, went on to score Morris her first Grammy nomination and truly changed her life. As she recalled to NPR in 2016, that was really the tipping point of me going from songwriter to artist. The second that song was done and we were listening back to it, the first thought in my mind was, wow, they were right. I'm not sending this to anybody. Someone at a, a label that had passed on me twice 
like said, their digital department was freaking out when they saw the spike. Morris was smart to stick with her instincts, as My Church was the song that truly launched her career. It was the lead single on her breakthrough 2016 album, Hero. It hit number five on the Billboard Country Chart, and it won her a Grammy and a CMA Award. As Morris's professional life took off, there was one person by her side as a songwriting partner who ended up being so much more. In 2013, she met Ryan Hurd, and they worked together for a while before becoming a romantic pairing in 2015. As Morris revealed to People magazine in 2017, we had been friends for only a couple of years, but there was always this writing chemistry in the room, and eventually, the timing of it was undeniable. We had such a foundation built off writing so many songs over the years that we were like, why are we avoiding this? A strong friendship is often a great foundation for a relationship, which Morris and Heard had clearly figured out by the time they got engaged in 2017. The wedding happened on March 24th the following year, and judging by the photos posted on Instagram, the ceremony was picture perfect. Morris's dress was inspired by her mom's bridal gown, and the reception looked like the best party ever. While Morris was planning her big day, she knew that she didn't want any part of it to be boring. As she explained to People magazine, we just want it to feel like a party. We don't want it to feel stuffy or have this long 18-course dinner. We want it to be like us. There's definitely going to be margaritas and some Motown music, and my dog will be there. It's going to be a complete reflection of both of our styles and tastes, and I'm so excited to share it with everybody. It sure sounds like Morris got the wedding that she hoped for. Morris's career really took off after she released her major label debut album, Hero, in 2016. But she still had quite a songwriting journey ahead of her. You might assume that writing just comes naturally to a star like her, but she's actually had to work hard to get the craft down just right. In a 2016 interview with Rolling Stone, she admitted that she had to remind herself to trust her gut more often. As she put it, I found every time I think something is stupid or overreaching or so silly, it is usually the right idea, because that came out of a part of your brain that was being Hinged. Because of this, Morris writes songs when she's hungover, as she has no filter in that condition. As she explained, I've written some really good songs that I love hungover because I wasn't overthinking it. Writing while hungover doesn't sound that appealing to us, but it clearly works for Morris, so more power to her. Maren Morris has spent most of her life singing, writing, and performing. But as every artist knows, no amount of hard work guarantees that you'll always be awarded for all the effort you've put into your craft. But sometimes, success does bring with it recognition from your peers. That's certainly true for Morris, as she's received a ton of award nominations and taken home some pretty impressive statues. As of 2021, she's racked up 12 Grammy nominations. In 2017, she took home the Grammy for Best Country Solo Performance for My Church. That same year, she also won the Academy of Country Music Award for New Female Artist of the Year. And on top of all of that, she was nominated for an MTV Video Music Award for Best Power Anthem for her hit single, Girl. Simply put, Morris's success is completely of her own doing. With her talent, charm, and ambition, there's no telling what other awards she'll take home in the future. In 2019, the same year that Morris released her album Girl, she also started her own band along with three other powerful women. Known as the High Women, the group consists of Brandi Carlisle, Amanda Shires, Natalie Hemby, and Morris, who was extremely proud to be a part of this crew. In a 2019 interview with Esquire, she explained why she felt it was important to form an all-female country band. As she put it, I feel like little girls will hear the high women and be changed by it. It's going to be the background music and the defining music of their youth. Morris also noted that she has a soft spot for being together with other women, as she revealed, I've always been a girl's girl. I have a sister. My mom's a hairdresser. I grew up in a salon. I've just always been surrounded by women. And some of my best heart-to-hearts that have changed my molecules have been with women. So I'm just really proud to be in this project. And so I think we're just trying to show that women can support other women and not be cutthroat. Considering everything that's been happening in Morris's professional life, it's amazing that she also found the time to fall in love and get married. And that's not all that she and her husband have been up to. In 2019, she made an exciting announcement when she revealed that she was pregnant with her first child. As she wrote on Instagram, the irony is just too rich that after a year of living in the girl headspace, the universe would give us a baby boy to even things out. See you in 2020, little one. You guys are gonna be the coolest parents, you know this, right? Thanks. <laughs> I hope Definitely so. Are. Hopefully it turns out okay. On March 23rd, 2020, Morris and her husband Ryan welcomed Hayes Andrew Hurd into the world, and he sure looks like quite the bundle of joy. Doting mother that she is, Morris has posted plenty of photos of their sweet boy on social media, and she's truly embraced the mom life. What a stunning transformation she's undergone.
Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.